Well hello and welcome. Today we are having cheese ravioli, four cheese. Um, this is the onion and fontal cheese thing I was telling you about. I've had something similar I think on the channel but it was um, caramelised onions on something and they were little circular things. They weren't little actually. And some Brussels sprouts. What about like that? Can you see it? Anyway, how is everyone? Hope you're all good. I'm doing all right. Just hope these are cooked. Cheers. Could have done with a bit longer, just a bit. Hmm, it's fine. Don't be too hot. Cheers. Divine, divine, divine. going to be too hot. Mm. I could cut this in half, but I don't like to destroy it. You know, not pasta. Hmm. You know, life might be a little easier if I just cut the damn thing. But if I do that, there's more chance of banging. And breakage like this just fall apart. See that cheese in there. Mmm. I wanted to butter these, but I also wanted to butter that. So I had to choose, and I've decided to butter that. Mm. I need to tell you about a new pizza I tried. Not the um, Chicago Town Tiger Crust. This is one I tried a little while ago and uh, completely forgot about telling you about it. Uh, Iceland, so Iceland have um, the Cathedral City range, right? And they bring out some really amazing foods that, that, that it's just so good, especially if you like cheese. Well, they do a ham and cheese pizza. It looks so good on the picture, but it was disgusting. It was so bad I couldn't even finish it. It has cheese on it, like regular Cathedral City cheese, but it also has a um, cheese sauce. All you can taste is that nasty cheese sauce in a pizza. You'd think that would be nice. No, it's absolutely vile. Oh, 
I was so shocked. I had high hopes. But not everything can be a win, right? Why can't they just make a regular pizza? Using their cheese. And with a... Um, and just put a bloody mops on there. Oh, and some palm. Why? Well, I imagine they've mixed their cheese in with milk and flour and made like a cheese sauce. Just so that it's all Cathedral City cheese. But wow, it was bloody awful. Gold. say they're gorgeous. I could have done with it just maybe just a tiny bit longer cooking. But they'll do. So let, let me know what you're eating. I decided to cut this, I don't want to tear the cheese. Oh, that's hefty. Right, let's taste a bit for its own sake. Very nice. Wow. Mm, that's gorgeous. Loving my dinner. Can't believe it's almost Christmas. Oh, I can't believe it. It's the same every bloody year. The older you get, the faster it comes. Really, that's just your impending death, right? Or the realisation of your impending mortality. I think many of you have already answered this, but 
do any of you follow the girl world? The girl world. Girl, I fucking hate that word so much. I follow it. Don't know if I'm going to keep following it. There's only two people actually that I really follow. Uh, that's Foodie Beauty and S Jam. But Foodie Beauty, oh, her content recently. You know, I'm having to swallow down vomit when I watch it because it's not her. Uh, she's changed, yeah. She's met a guy and she's changed so much. And for the better, right? The, her intention is to be a better person, to behave better and be less of a train wreck. And that's all a good thing. But she's being fake as fuck in her videos. Her voice, <clears throat> there's no expression in her voice. She's like a robot. Like I said, it's actually painful to watch. It's like, who the hell are you? <sighs> wow. She has wanted to change for a long time. It can't be disputed. But it's taken her being with a man she's never even met, falling in love with somebody online, to drastically change who she is. So it just doesn't sit well because it's not real if it's for somebody else she says it's for um him as well as her yeah but the, the her bit is secondary right so it doesn't count and it, it doesn't count it just doesn't but if it had started with you then sure but anyway that's not that's nobody's business and it's not my business either it's just that it's hard to swallow because um, the catalyst was a man that she hasn't even met. It's just absolute nuts. She's nuts, so I'm, I shouldn't be surprised. She's always been wild, edgy, you know, and she's got wilder, which has been both entertaining, funny, also sad, depressing, the, you know the whole list of emotions so change is good but the way she's changing it's not real and so therefore I don't think it can last I'm gonna stick around and that because um, no, she's a human being and she's not a bad human she's messed up I think we're all messed up she's just a lot more open about it um, maybe too open about it but still you know and also it's her persona to some degree her online persona if she were my daughter that's weird saying I mean there's what only nine years between us but she's like a child, right? No, she thinks she's a woman now. Or trying to act like a woman. But, you know, mentally she's a child. She is. A teenager. But if she were my child, I'd be in an early grave. You know the way she's lived her life um 
she makes me think I've always thought she's one of those people uh, whose life is too often cut short right because of the decisions they make dangerous decisions so you know how dangerous some of the decisions that teenagers make right especially teenage girls uh, she did that um, but luckily she met Pete's or she met a guy was with him eight years and so that probably kept her safe and then she was with another guy for eight years and that kept her safe uh, but what she's been doing the last year uh, 18 months even 18 months or so is no different to a teenager you know t dangerous games the guy she's with now we have no idea if he's safe if he's real you know as in his tensions are genuine and stuff because we don't know anything it's not our business obviously uh, but it is, it is such a worry our behavior is just nuts just nuts put it this way the last guy she was with um, for a year was an abusive asshole uh, a true narcissist the control this guy has on her so quickly this is the thing she's already deficient in decision making and, and she always has been right always that's what I'm saying I'm surprised her life you know she's been lucky that she's lived as long as she has I'm being serious you know we don't know what he's like of course but her behavior could be a symptom of who she is which it is to a degree but what's his intent oh you know there's a lot of him involved so what's his intent you know anyway it's no one's business but here I am talking about it but I am because I watch her and I'm sure some of you to do as well I support her changes like she wants to be more dressed more modest please that's what we've all wanted you to do please get some bloody clothes on great she's doing that she wears a hijab now I don't care if she wears that whatever it's the guy she's doing so much too soon also also she says and I don't doubt it they're spending like almost every waking hour with each other online on video FaceTime or whatever on video call that's not healthy that's not healthy that's what teenagers do right and teenagers are not the healthiest human beings not normal behaviour I don't know, play. Just like any mum, and it's ridiculous because there's only nine years between us, what I want, what I'd prefer, is her, her new guy comes to this to her country and uh, instead of the other way around
where she's safe. And if it turns out he's the guy she really wants, then make that really big decision to go to his. She's not going there to live currently. Who's that? Oh, hi, I'm filming. If anybody's got any comments about foodie yeah please leave them below no nasty bastards allowed here my opinion I think um, it's not going to end well What worries me is how they're so I mean they're in contact 24 7 and that's a red flag straight away because that kind of um, closeness occurs occurs when one is trying to kind of love bomb and exert emotional control so <laughs> so good doesn't mean I'm right I hope I'm wrong everything that's happened so far is unhealthy unnatural And um, I'm red flaggy. I mean, it could be argued, well she's been really private about it so there's nothing we really know that's true so I'm obviously going off on what we do know you know so food is mental age emotional mental age is about 18 17 mm -hmm. 17 I would say that's always the age that sticks in my head it's like stunted growth so there's that the guy she's met is from a different country and online she's literally just got out of a an abusive relationship she's been spiraling out of control with overeating weight gain THC use I mean she's been like obliterating herself uh, on THC and then she meets this guy hook line and sinker because she's desperate for love she wants to love and she wants to be loved she wants to marry and in her own words she wants to be taken care of he's been behind so many of her changes she can say as much as she likes that it's her or at least you know partly her it's hardly her 
again the foot the it's all he's the he's the instigator how much time they spend together it's just red flags all over how she expects anybody to believe or accept that that's this all sounds safe well, I've taken a kind of step back I'm still like watching from a distance because it's just so troubling to be like just waiting for her no but he's hoping he's great that he's as, as amazing as she really thinks he is to be fair She's not yet cast any doubts on any of his behaviour. I mean, you know, we think it's only been a few days, but she says it's been more, longer. But, you know, literally the first day with the other guy, the abusive guy. Mind you, it's online. <sighs> I don't know. I just hope it's everything she wants. I want that for her as much as anybody watches her. I might leave that because there's no sauce. Right, well that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your views in the comments. Respectful views. Or don't say anything if you just don't give a shit. Don't just talk about something else. It's fine. Definitely getting this again. It's a red onion and Fontal cheese and I got it in M&S. Alright. If you try it, let me know. Alright, so that's it. I'm going to go. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.